Hey everybody, Adam here. Uh, Going to be trying a new segment, adding this into the mix called Heads Up Cool Stuff. This is my way of letting people who are into geeky things that uh, they wouldn't normally have their eye on, but might be something they're interested in if they knew it was out there. Uh, and today we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about the Funko Super 7 reaction figures. Now, you guys, we'll start here real simple. You're like, reaction logo looks kind of familiar. Well, that is indeed the case. I may remind you here of the Kenner logo. So we're going to back this up. We're going to bring these back to toys that I had, at least when I was a kid. The original Star Wars figures were made from by Kenner here. And uh, really, the Kenner aesthetic uh, really established, you know, it was the five points of articulation, sometimes four, depending on what kind of head the character had. And uh, they, you know, shoulder, hip, head, that was it. Uh, but there was a look to these figures, you know, with the, that they call that a T-hip type of joint there, but the way the legs connect, when you look at Luke, for example, that uh, it's a very classic Kenner figure. So, with that in mind, um, that sort of Kenner aesthetic, uh, Super 7, a few years ago, announced that they had gotten their hands and the rights to do the never-made Kenner-designed alien action figures. Uh, in its heyday, uh, Kenner, in, an, in a mad rush to replicate the success of Star Wars, grabbed the alien license and when I was a kid uh, and the movie came out, the only toy we ever saw on shelves was a, I believe it was 15 or 17 inches. He was a big guy, a big uh, version of the alien figure. And it wasn't around very long. And I think Kenner quickly realized, oops, this is not a kid's movie. Um, so they had sculpted and designed a handful of figures to to release. And they killed them. They aborted them. They never released them. And uh, they lingered in the collective memory of some collectors over the years here because apparently prototypes turned up. And Super 7 decided they were going to get their hands on the rights to do these. Uh, a lot of working with other collectors who had had prototypes, allowing them to either cast molds or uh, letting them repli you know, look at them and replicate the molds. And they did these alien figures. So you'll notice here, these guys really maintain the look of the... Uh, of the uh, aesthetic here so these are out now alien figures are out they're running about 10 or 15 bucks a pop at most of the usual online retailers so Funko jumped in got involved like what Super 7 was doing and decided that they were gonna pair uh, their licenses you know if you don't know Funko does a lot of the bobbleheads and lamps and posters I mean just all sorts of crazy stuff so uh, but they have licenses for a lot of popular culture uh, from the last 25, 30 years. So they're teaming up with Super 7. They're going to start releasing um, in May, April, May. Um, it looks like April, actually, here. Um, they're going to be releasing figures every month, just like the Alien style, just in that old Kenner style, with a price point of around $9.99 uh, for the following franchises. Uh, first up, of course, we have Terminator due out in April. Uh, you're going to get a Chrome Terminator. You're going to get a Sarah Connor. You're going to get a Kyle Reese. You're going to get a uh, what they're calling Tech Nor Terminator. They're calling uh, the T-800 Leather Jacket Terminator. Then in April, we get Escape from New York. That's right, we're getting Snake Plissken. And Snake Plissken with Jacket. Then, to finish out April, you're going to get yourself... Firefly, uh, that's right, Firefly in the old Kenner style. Of course, we have Jane, Kaylee, Malcolm Reynolds, Zoe Washburn, Hoban Washburn. Um, looks like that's it for those guys right now. Uh, I'm going to guess that if the line is these are popular, going to come back around and probably finish off the crew is most likely. Then in June... Uh, we're getting the Rocketeer. Ooh, goody. Very excited. As well as Back to the Future, which will include Marty McFly, Doc Brown, George McFly, and Biff Tannen. And that's right, Buffy fans. You're getting action figures. We got uh, Spike. 
Willow, the Gentleman, Angel, and Buffy Summers, as well as Oz. A line I'm super excited, and I just thought this was brilliant, is we are going to be getting Pulp Fiction. That's right, a whole slew of Pulp Fiction, actually. So we got Butch, the Wolf, with Teacup, I might add, Marcellus Wallace, Vincent Vega, Jules Winfield, Mia Wallace, Jimmy, the Gimp. Who doesn't want a Gimp for their skiff? Come on, you know. So, I mean, I think these are brilliant. These are going to be so much fun to mix in with, especially if you were a fan of that style. And at $9.99, hard to go wrong. Uh, for the old school fans, Universal Monsters are going to be in the mix. Not the first time they have been uh, the three and three fourth scale action figure. But uh, certainly looking good and certainly belongs here in the mix. Uh, the, you know, we had the Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, and Wolfman. Yeah, that's a nice mix. That's a good mix of uh, Universal Monsters there. This should get a lot of folks excited. Nightmare Before Christmas is in here. And, of course, we have uh, The Mayor. Uh, let's see, we got Bohemoth, we have the Devil, Barrel, Jack Skellington. So I think folks will be really, really happy with those. They look good. Um, I'm going to say that, yeah, I think the Nightmare Before Christmas ones are going to be super popular with folks, especially at that price point. Um, and obviously, not all the characters are there. I'm sure they will continue to add to the line. That's, that's, ex I'm very excited about that. Here you go, Predator. Now, to be fair, Kenner did have their own line of Predator figures, I believe, at one point, but, uh, these are very cool to get sort of in this, uh, style. Uh, they basically, you're getting one Predator in a variety of variants. So we've got, well, let's see here, was that the closed mouth, the clear, the open mouth, the helmeted. So, um, Where's my Dutch? Where's my Dutch figure? Come on. Yeah, well, we got to have something to look forward to. So if you're a Predator fan, not really crazy about that, that paint scheme, though. You shouldn't be so yellow, I don't think. But again, as the tag says, subject to final license or approval. I know uh, the head sculpts aren't quite right on a lot of these, and they will be more Kenner-like when they come. Um, but, ah, looking good. Not done here, though. We still got uh, one more to throw at you can you guess can you guess what it is i bet you can't guess what it is goonies i bet you didn't guess goonies in a million years that's right goonies are finally getting figures perfect perfect franchise to give this treatment to so uh we've got uh mouth chunk data sloth and mikey um looks good looks good now, I don't believe that's everything they've got lined up for the year. There is uh, nothing, let me double check my notes here, nothing released in May, even though we have releases in April. We've got Terminator, Escape from New York, and Firefly in April, Back to the Future in June, uh, Rocketeer in June, Buffy and Angel in July, Pulp Fiction in July, Universal Monsters in July and August, mostly August, Nightmare Before Christmas is in August, Horror! We almost forgot the horror, guys. That's it. That's right, they're doing a horror se series, so you can add your favorite serial killers and vigilantes to your Star Wars adventure lineup, or whatever three and three-fourth scale you happen to be in. Um, it's an interesting mix here, and it's a cool mix. I look forward to seeing more of these. Uh, Mike Myers from Halloween. Pinhead from Hellraiser. Sam for Trick or, Trick or Treat. Eric Draven, a.k.a. The Crow, liked the figure, wished they had gone more for his overcoat look. But again, probably just the first figure. I'm sure there'll be more. Freddy Krueger. Jason Voorhees. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Sorry. And Ghostface from Scream. So there you have it. Those are all the reveals. Um, so didn't mean to get sidetracked there. So the Halloween stuff is due in September. Predator, um, September and October. October is also going to include the Goonies. So 
The idea, obviously, is new figures every month. Um, encourage your local retailer if you have a comic book shop. And any of these remotely triggered an interest, you should let them know. Uh, they should be available for them to pre-order through the usual diamond and all of that. And, of course, they will be available through your, all of your online retailers. Entertainment Earth does have the exclusives on the images right now. But they are not the only folks who uh, have the pre-order up Big Bad Toy Store as well as all the other well-known entities. I'm not encouraging or recommending anyone in particular use whoever you use. But I wanted to let folks know that these were out there. I think they're very, very neat. Um, I'm definitely going to be adding some of uh, those to the mix. I can definitely see the Snake Pliskins. Uh, I can see the Rocketeer is definitely a must-get uh, for me. Um, a lot of the Pulp Fiction stuff just because it's so absurd. Um, I do hope um, that they do, the word is they're going to be adding even more licenses. I don't think they have the greatest American hero license, but I would really like them to. And I would really love to see figures made in that line. I'd also like to encourage them to do uh, 1980 Flash Gordon movie figures. Um, I, I realize they don't have a license for that, but it's one I'd hope they'd like to get. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. Have a great week. Bye. Hey everybody, Adam here. Uh, just want to say thank you for watching my content. You may have noticed there are no ads or pre-rolls on my stuff here on YouTube. That is intentional because all of my content is viewer supported. Folks that like what I do, chip in over there at the Patreon page I have set up. Go ahead and click that logo. It'll take you there, fill you in. And if you feel what I do is a value to you, I'd love to get some value back. As always, thank you for watching.